Okay, so the first step is just to paint the box. Um, I'm going to paint it inside and out, so do that really quickly. I have, again, I've mixed an assortment of three different acrylic paints, but you can use whatever color you want. So I just have laid down some paper because I don't want to take it on my table, even though you can wipe it up if you get it while it's still wet. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and, and start to paint the box, and I'm going to you know, paint it really thickly, the whole thing, and once that's done, um, I will show you the next step. Okay, so you can see that I have the box completely painted. I'm trying to keep the shadows away. See the outside, everything completely painted. The next step for this project is to add the Mod Podge. Um, this is the hard coat and it's basically just a sealer. You don't have to do it, but I like it because it puts a nice shiny finish onto the box and um, you know just so if it gets scratched or anything the paint's not going to come off. I put two coats of the acrylic paint onto the wooden box and now I'm going to seal it. One thing I'll let you know is when I put the sealer on I actually don't put any right along the rim here and the reason being is I mean because the Mod Podge it actually takes four weeks to seal. Um, completely for it to cure. So if you can leave the box open for four weeks, um, you'll be fine. But if you do wind up putting, you know, the sealant on here, and then you close the lid, if you forget about it, then it'll stick shut. So either don't put any. If you want to use this box right away around the the part of the edges where the box closes, which is what I usually do, or you're going to have to leave it open for four weeks for the box to totally cure and be dry. So I'm going to choose not to do that and just just like the um, when I was painting the box, now I'm just going to go ahead and put the, um, the Mod Podge hard coat on here. It's just going to make it shiny and um, give it a nice sealed look and then we will continue on with the next step after this is all done and dry. All right. Okay, so as you can see, I have my box, which I've covered with the final coat of the Mod Podge hard coat. Um, so I've got it there drying, and while it's drying, we are going to make the bottom, the insert that goes into the bottom of the box. So I like to have something a little bit, you know, colorful or unique, and I have this blue, which matches the blue paint that I made. Um, but, you know, you can use felt if you just want to use felt, or you can use whatever you want here, but what I do is I've gone ahead and cut out a piece of cardboard and I've checked it to see that it, it fits inside the box. Maybe just like a centimeter open on each side, which is fine. Um, and so this is just kind of like wrapping a present. You take your material and just place it downwards. And I, you know, I've just cut this like a square, it's not perfect by any means. And then I put down the cardboard and I take my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to pull this over and place it down. And I'll turn it around. And then I can pull it nice and tight because the glue is already attached. I'll put some glue on the other side here. And I'm going to pull this really tight and place it down. Make sure it's nice and tight. So, the great thing about using the glue gun is the glue dries really fast. So, I can see. Perfect. Now, I have to do this side. And again, it's just like wrapping a present. Pull it nice and tight first. I'm going to put some glue in here. Doesn't really matter. Nobody's going to see this side, so just do whatever you like to do. Pull it tight. Press it down. Same with this side. Put lots of 
glue in here. Oh, I'm gonna need to add some more glue. Pull it nice and tight. Perfect, so this is what they're gonna see. This is the flat part. It's gonna go in this way, all the stuff underneath, which they can't see. I will go ahead and trim this up with some scissors, and then uh, we'll go ahead and glue this into the bottom of our box on the inside, and then they've got a nice, soft, kind of satiny liner in the bottom. Um, once the box is dry and I put this in, we'll go to the next step, which is going to be decorating the lid. Okay, so the box is done. I put in, I actually decided to go ahead and make two because I liked the look so much. I placed the cardboard with the satin on it and it really just kind of makes the inside of the box pop. I'm really happy with the look. I just put my glue gun and pressed it in and it's solid. So now we are going to work on decorating the top of this box. So what I've done is I have used a seashell that I found on a beach in Seattle, and this is my inspiration for the box. Um, that's why it's blue. I kind of want it to look like water, and um, I'm going to put the seashell right in the middle, but I want it to look like there's water underneath or the beach. So my first thing I'm going to do is I need to trace a square on the top of the box, which you can see I've done with a pencil. All I did was I took a, a jewelry box and I put it on the top here and I traced around with a pencil it gave me a perfect sort of square here and I'm gonna take the tacky glue and I'm gonna use this because I want to put sand on top of it to give it um, you know kind of the combine the beach with the seashell I can't use a glue gun because the glue dries too fast with the glue gun so we're gonna use some tacky glue. This stuff dries a little bit faster. Uh, so I'll go ahead. You only get one shot to do this. So not to worry. Um, you've got your design here already to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just follow it. Put a nice thick layer. Best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect either. You know, this is great thing about crafting is you put your original sort of feel and look to it. Okay. Voila! Got my square. Now I've got my beach sand, which is just vase filler beach sand. You can go to the beach if you want. Um, and I'm just going to sprinkle this like as if you're sprinkling glitter <laughs> onto a project when you're a kid. Remember when you made those macaroni projects? And you covered them with glitter, Christmas decorations. It's exactly what I'm doing here. So, if a four year old can do this, then so can I. So, we'll go ahead and cover the whole thing with the sand. I've got some old newspaper underneath so it'll catch it all and I can just clean it up really fast. But I will have to let this sit for a little bit and let it dry before we go to the next step. So as soon as this is done and it's all dry, we will come back and I will show you how we're going to fill in the inside and kind of make it look a little bit like water. All right. Okay, so you can see it's it's not fully dry, but that's okay. Uh, I have little patience <laughs> and for the next step what I want to do is kind of make this look like a sandy beach, blue specks of water, things like that. So, And then the seashell is going to go on the very top afterwards. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of the sand and sprinkle it in here. I'm just going to spread it around. Okay, so I've got enough in there. 
I don't want it to be completely full. I don't really need a whole lot right where the seashell is going to go, but just kind of put it around the edges here just to give it that sandy beachy look. Of course all this stuff on the side will just come right off so don't worry about that. And then I have some crystals and these crystals are kind of an opaquey bluey green. They very much match the box and I'm not going to use glue to put them in um, because we're going to put the Mod Podge over top of it. We're just going to pour it in. So I just need to set them down throughout. And they're just going to be like little specks, like as shiny specks, as if you were actually at the beach. So I'll go ahead here. Let me just go do this. I'm going to fill this whole thing throughout and then I will come back. Okay, so I've added on my sand and crystals and I'm just going to lift this up here so you can have a cool look. Can you see that? See how it kind of looks like the ocean floor? The way that it is a bit sparkly. It's perfect. So I quite like the result. I just have the shell sitting on there so I can get my bearings as to where to put the crystals. I'm now going to take my seashell off very gently. The inside is a little bit empty but I don't care because that's going to get covered up. So the next step is we're going to use the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and what this is going to do I'm just going to put it inside it's going to dry and it's kind of going to give like a really glossy sort of um, like it's water effect. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour it on and the reason I do it nice and slowly but we've already got the edge which is the outside so that is going to make sure that none of it leaks I just have to go through this nice and slow and this takes three hours to dry so once it's all in here we gotta wait some time and then we can go ahead and put the seashell on it and we're almost done. So let me just go ahead and fill up this square. Make sure none of it runs out of the edging I've got. And it's just gonna be amazing. Such a beautiful effect. I love this look. So it does take a while to dry, so just bear with me now that I've filled it up. You can see there's a, I don't know if you can see it very well, there's a little air bubble here, so I'm going to pop it with my tweezers. Perfect. So have a look here. It's all cloudy right now. This is all going to be clear when we're done, and then we will affix the seashell, and the box will be completed. Exciting. Okay, I just wanted to show you quickly. I've come back halfway through. You can kind of see one side starting to dry. This side's a little bit cloudy still. I must have made it a little bit thicker on that side. But I've just quickly taken my seashell um, halfway through. Well, it's not completely wet. It's, it's still tacky. About an hour and a half after putting the Mod Podge on it. And I've just pressed down my seashell. And this way it's going to stick. And um, it's all set. It's ready. So once this is dry, I'll show you the final result. And uh, the box is done. Okay, so it's all finished. Um, as you can see here, I'm trying to get you to look how I've kind of got that water effect with the crystals underneath and the sand. I did actually realize that I probably put it on a little bit too thick, but that's okay. Next time, I can make a little bit of a difference because the edges are a little bit foggy, but um, you learn as you go. And the inside, very pretty. So thanks for watching. This was lots of fun. And make sure that you check out next week because um, there's always a craft project uploaded every Sunday. Have a great week.